If there's one year in English history that towers above all the rest, it's got to be 1066. Because that was the year that William of Normandy in France, who later became known as William the Conqueror for obvious reasons, sailed across the English Channel with his army and defeated the English right here on this field in the Battle of Hastings. This momentous occasion is faithfully reenacted every year, and just to get you in the mood, Saxon and Norman tent villages are painstakingly reconstructed so you can get a taste of what life was really like as you wait for the battle to begin. So this is chain mail. This is chain mail. This is one of the best protections from our period. Wow, it's heavy, isn't it? Oh, would you like to try some on? Oh, I'd love to try on some chain mail. All right. <laughs> Did people think it was sexy to wear chainmail? Like, did women wear it in their boudoir? Uh, you answer that question yourself in just a moment. Oh, my goodness gracious, this is very heavy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Do you feel sexy? <laughs> I feel sexy at all. Oh, Sorry about that. <laughs> That's Harold, the King of England. Hi, Harold. Hello. Hi, I've never met a king before. <laughs> so, you're going to get killed out there? Um, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it that Harold got killed, do you think? In the end, um, bad luck. Really? Yeah. And is this just how Harold would have dressed, do you think? This is the sort of style he would have dressed in, yes. Right. Does everybody carry a sword? No, a sword would be a rich man's weapon. And this sort of sword, again, is uh, very, very exclusive. And this is based on a late Saxon sword found in Yorkshire. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. And then does the chainmail protect you from swords going into you? It will stop a sword cutting you. It will stop a spear cutting you. Because part of what they were trying to stop wasn't just a killing blow, but a small wound. In those days, you could quite easily get gangrene, septicemia, Right. You were dead three weeks after the battle. Harold, it's time to go and fight. Right, OK, well... To battle. Good luck, I mean, well, a good death. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try. OK. <laughs> Hold up, Columbus! Hot on! Normandy! These are the Normans. What do you think about when he's out there in battle? Well, I don't feed him before he goes, because if uh, if he does get killed, then that's a waste of food. Right, I can see <laughs> your point, yeah. As dawn broke on the 14th of October, 1066, the battle that shaped the course of English history began. Evenly matched with about 3,000 soldiers on each side, the Saxons, who were the English, and the Normans, who were the French, battled all day until finally King Harold of the Saxons was killed. William of France then took over the throne. Well, Harold's down. I guess it's the end. It was all kind of inevitable, really. So if the Normans hadn't won, how would England be different, do you think? How would it be different? Probably not very much. It's like politics today. One side is much the same as the other. Really? I think, well, perhaps the Saxons swore a lot more than the uh, Normans. You're a fighter. I'm very Were much you a fighter. Norman or a Saxon fighter? I'm a Saxon fighter. Well, I'm actually a Welsh levy on the Saxon side, paid to fight for the Saxons. Are most English grateful that the French invaded and conquered England? Well, I, I personally am, because my family are from France. But I consider myself to be as English as the next man. <laughs> I'm going to go and see if I can join. Yeah. yeah. It's good. Oh, it's you'd really, look, really good. You'd look great in chainmail. Yeah, you mightn't look so bad yourself. <laughs> <laughs>